Hey guys, this is Instinct Sphere 2, and this is Daisy that I'm playing. I've been playing it for about a month. I got it in August. Actually, uh, when I first heard about Daisy, I heard about it in July, and uh, never played Arma 2, which some people dislike. Um, but yeah, never played Arma 2, just jumped right into it. Actually, my first computer could not handle the game at all. I downloaded Arma 2, the demo, to test it, and frame rate was below 10 and that was on high settings on the lowest settings it could maybe get up to 20 but it wasn't consistent so actually I had been meaning to build a PC for quite some time so I did actually I uh, put it all together and actually I built it originally for school but I definitely made sure the specs were good enough to handle Daisy and potential recording so I'm glad to see that it does work. Uh, we're having some issues with fraps for my first movie, but the frame rate has been much better from here on in. So if you could bear with me. Also, there's some sound lag. And I'm working on fixing that. That's a little bit more complicated. But what I like to discuss is morality, being a bandit, and hacking in Daisy. And these are all things that are an issue with the current mod. Hopefully, they will not be an issue at all with the standalone version that will be coming out supposedly sometime in 2012. If not, I, I heard as late as February, but I, I, Dean Rocket Hall said 2012, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. Hopefully it's then. But um, in this situation, I am being abandoned, because I'm still relatively new to the game. This is about three weeks ago. I've improved a lot since then. I've been playing pretty consistently for the last three weeks, and um, definitely learned a lot about morality in the game and why it's not cool just to go around shooting people. In this case, I did, and I got punished for it twice. Um, and it, it's fun being sneaky. That's what this game... This That's what makes the game the core strategy. It's getting the jump on somebody. That is so important. The person who shoots first almost always wins. Or the person who notices sets up the shot, weighs all the you know pros and cons before they take the shot, and puts himself in... The most advantageous position will almost always win. In this case, that's what I do. So, obviously, to do that, you need to take your time. Um, that's what I'm doing here. Take out my binoculars. I saw somebody. I'm not just going to chase them down. I'm going to look at where the zombies are. I'm going to look at where other survivors are. Um, actually, getting to this point in Electro, in Electro, I consider it more dangerous than Cherno. I consider it the most dangerous spot in the game, except for maybe the Northwest Airfield. But that's debatable I'm sure um, and I actually I was coming from Cherno ran all the way around the mountain um, alongside the road uh, near the coast and checked the hill making sure there's no snipers on the hill no snipers in the fire towers um, I ran to the firehouse grabbed some weapons so right now I'm using an AKM which is a very loud weapon I regret <laughs> I regret using it I have the AK-74 which is uh, weaker but a lot less loud in high I probably should have kept that gun. So definitely take your time in this game and that's what I'm doing here. And it may seem boring at first, especially if you are uh, a former COD fanboy like I was. This game takes a little bit of getting used to, but after playing games where it's just nonstop, very little strategy, it's just all how can you handle each interaction, like how quick you are, how good you can aim. This game is not about that. This game is about pure strategy, weighing all your options, weighing the positives and the negatives. Is it worth the risk? And in this case, I thought it was. I saw a guy who appeared to have a sniper rifle, and I really want a sniper rifle. That allows you to be very stealthy. Um, because he is armed, he has a pretty good weapon. I, At the time, I felt that justified shooting on sight. Looking back, I don't think it was at all. And just cause more harm than good in the end. Because as soon as you kill somebody, uh, you'll become a bandit. If you have no other, more, if your morality is 2,500, that's what you start off as, uh, you'll just become a bandit automatically. And it's very hard to stop being a bandit if you're just by yourself, like I am in this situation. I'm on a private hive, so my friend that I play with is not on the server. So I don't really have anyone to work with to try and boost uh, my morality back up to where I'm a survivor. So. Branding yourself a bandit is kind of pretty much committing suicide in the long term because you're not going to last long unless you find a ghillie suit which masks your bandit skin. But that's easier said than done. 
So being a bandit is not as fun as it may seem. Everyone who jumps into the game initially just wants to do a little PvP, but you don't want to be a bandit for the whole game. Also, this private hive will keep you a bandit even after you die, apparently. I figured that out. So your morality is ongoing um, as long as you're in the hive. Um, so this is definitely a game to look before you leap. I'm doing that again. I see him in my binoculars. I checked all the towers beforehand too to make sure there's no other snipers. I tried to hold them up. I thought he was going to run into the house. And I was going to hold him up there. He didn't. He just ran around the house. Um, so I start to panic. That happens a lot in this game. And I just decided to go for the shot. And I did make it. And as you can see, game jump helps big time. Because you can see in a second... He has no clue where this is coming from. The whole time, he did not figure it out. I thought he saw me at one point, and that's why I decided to just go ahead and pull the trigger. He didn't. So, and the whole time, he's just completely disoriented. I think it broke his leg. He tried to put some morphine, or he tried to stand up, and he fell back down. Um, he hung in there for a while to his credit. And I feel bad. I should have... I, I attracted some of these obvious at this point. I started to panic, and I was just worried about other people in the lack show coming to find me. So, I decided to kill him. And he turned into a white guy. Um, take a sniper rifle. And look at that. I've got tons of zombies nowhere to run. And I'm about to become a bandit. It hasn't taken effect yet, but it will. Uh, so that's <laughs> a pretty crappy scenario to be in. So it cuts away here. More or less, I just ran and ran. Tried to bandage myself. Got beat up a lot. And I kept running. So low blood and I'm a bandit. That's a bad situation. Um, so once I'm a bandit, I pretty much decide that I'm going to keep being a bandit. I don't really feel like, I, I feel like I'm screwed no matter what. So I, I picked up some more AKM mags from another, from that corpse actually. He had some AKM mags for some reason. Um, I decided not to take the M24 because I was going to, I didn't feel like being a sniper at this point in time. I felt like going in close range. And again, if you, even if you're a bandit, even if you, uh, haven't played a game much, you could still kick some serious butt with just an AKM by going around the outskirts of any towns, any buildings, surveying the area, figuring out people where people are, and then getting the jump on them. And that's what happened here. He has an Alice pack. He has a pretty good gun. I can't tell what it is at the moment. So he is a threat. I try talking to the side chat. He starts to move, and then I panic because I'm a dick. Um, so I decided to shoot him and take him out, which was just mean. There's no need. Now I'm further in the hole. I'm pretty much abandoned from now on. So that's that kind of sucks. Um, that was weird too. That was another weird glitch. Yeah, he's clearly not an issue. I don't know what he. Had. Oh, I think you said AK. So, I raid his body. And, as you see, the not much of a reward for killing a guy. Probably not worth it. I got matches, that was pretty sweet. Matches are awesome, because you can run into the woods and just hunt game. And, um, cooked meat is excellent for regaining your health, especially if you don't have a buddy to give you a blood bag transfusion. So, if I wasn't a moron... I would have just ran to the woods. And I thought about it. I thought about just running north. Maybe I slowly work my way to the northwest passage. Uh, northwest. <laughs> the northwest airfield. Um, and maybe hang around the outskirts and just hunt for some game. And then eventually make my move for uh, a higher tier weapon. I didn't. I decided to hang around the show. For I just I, I had low blood at times. So I thought I want to get food now. I'm going to make a run for the grocery store. And that was pretty stupid. And all is well and good here, but I kind of break my own rule of staying on the outskirts. I'll run to Electro almost never. And I'll never run to Heart of the Electro unless I'm just starting out and I'm trying to grab as much supplies as possible. Because um, there's just no, there's not that much in there worth risking your ass over if you have a weapon that you like, basic supplies. 
there's no need. If you're starting out, just go for it, because you've got nothing to lose. But in this case, an AKM is not a bad gun. It's loud, but it's powerful, and it's automatic. It's reasonably common, but doesn't devalue it. It just means that you have to worry about other people having it. Um, it can hold its own against a lot of guns. And it has range. Um, or that's, I guess, what's the actual term? Range? Um, yeah, it's got the range set up where you can toggle the distance. Um, never really had an opportunity to try it out long range, but it can go up to 800 meters, which is interesting. It, I guess it just kind of lets you know how powerful the gun is at longer distances that you are able to do that. Seems a little odd that a AK would have that. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to check the stats in that gun. The AKM, just reading off from the stat chart, which I use all the time before I make a tough gun decision. AKM. It's, oh, it's actually listed as uncommon, which is actually more common. Uh, extremely rare is something that you're going to see you know, once out of 50 games, I'd say. AKM I'll see every other game. Just come across it. Maybe one out of four. And it takes out 4,500 blood. So that's three shots and you're, someone's dead, assuming they have 12,000 health. So it's pretty powerful. So I don't want to just go on a suicide mission just yet because I'm pretty happy with my situation. Um, but I decided to go for the grocery store, and clearly that was a bad move. I ran into trouble. I should have, I forgot to change it to semi. I logged back into the game, and I didn't think it would take it off semi, so my shots were not that accurate. And even worse still, I attracted every zombie. In a last show, apparently. I, I thought about flanking him through the hospital, and then I got distracted. I saw this guy, I thought maybe he would have some kind of grenade or something that could give me an upper hand. Um, so, waste of time. Zombies are coming from any, everywhere, and worst of all, I don't know where this guy is. That's the hardest part. I, I run through and try to flank him. He's doing the same thing. We run into each other, and he just takes me out. So I'm trying to see if I can get to the top, look into the grocery store, and figure out where he is. Because that's, I don't know if he ran out of there, I just know he ducked down, or somehow got out of the grocery store. I was shooting him at the grocery store. And now every zombie's figured out where I am. And I gotta get out of there. This is one trick I figured out from before. Um, oh, first. Check to see if there's another corpse to kill three bugs, but I do kind of. It's the best way of getting out of the hospital in the lecture if you're surrounded by zombies. Or you think someone's got a sniper rifle in the area and they've got their own sight on you. And you want to kind of take a, a more inconspicuous way out. But yeah, I realize there's no way I'm to shoot my way out of this. I actually decided to eat a can of beans before I dropped to boost my blood a little bit. That was actually kind of worked in a weird way. Um, what you see. And then, uh, look. Oh, not really glitch. So in the. I guess somehow by eating that move. So then, I think, alright, get the heck out of here. Let's go up north. We'll just hunt some game, get away from Electro. I'm gonna check, make sure he's not there before I just sprint. Oh, I get shot. And. I don't know where. I, I wanna say it's from the grocery store, but I didn't see anyone there. But it looked like from that angle. And then I guess he chased me. I don't know, maybe he's on the hill behind me? I don't know. There's somebody in the grocery store. And I shot at him. So. So now I'm just running for my life, and apparently somebody chased me or I ran to somebody else, because I get shot again. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so 
That's what I get for being a bandit. That's morality in Daisy. Pretty much, if you're gonna be a dick and you don't have anybody to watch your back, you're gonna have other people treat you like shit. And I shot at somebody, they shot at me, and I lost. And because I kept having these stupid encounters where I brand myself as a bandit, so people would shoot on sight. I lost a lot of blood, you know, killing others, putting myself in vulnerable positions. I got what's coming to me. And this is me trying to make up for it later that day, actually. This is an example of hacking in Daisy. And it's one of those things you don't realize how bad it is until you actually see it, how big of an advantage. I got picked up by these guys. I was really doing up, and they just drove up to me and picked me up. And I had a hatchet at the time. I just wanted that game. I took an hour long break, actually, after I got killed. It's pretty pissed. So I came back, they gave me a ride. And uh, we go on this little adventure. And I'll let you guys watch the rest, but more or less, I kept this video extra long to show that I'm innocent, I guess, and I'm just. If you read the side chat, I, d I don't think I have the footage of them picking me up, but if you read the side chat, you can see uh, just the innocent bystander. Uh, I just got picked up by this dude, and he just kind of messed with me. I keep trying to talk to them. I'm Andy, by the way. You can see my name in the soundtrack. Um, and we get stuck. Uh, but, yeah, they just picked me up. They just kind of messed with me. I keep asking questions. Where'd you get the car? What's going on? Um, where are we going? And they don't really respond. And you get kind of stupid answers. Um... We're going to some other clan's camp, apparently, and I'm just kind of going to take a lot for a ride. And then we go stock up for supplies, and we watch it to the end, and you'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. He puts this box on the ground. Just, it looked like a medical box, uh, like you see in the hospitals. And I open I was like, well, how how'd you put it on the ground? That was weird. And then I open it up, and every single item in the game of any value, I don't think I saw, like, maybe it's not some food. I don't know. Every every item that you'd want in the game is there. I didn't see any crap either. There's no tin cans or anything. And so naturally, I grabbed the AS50. I think it's the greatest thing in the world. And then I realized, well, this sucks. I, the, the whole point of Daisy is to scavenge, to have the odds against you. This is just cheating. There's no fun. Like, I have an AS50. I just magically got it. I, the best gun in the game, more or less. I just got it. And I find it. I just. I have all these awesome things and there's no point because I just magically received them. I didn't earn them. I just met some stupid hacker who for some reason decided to be nice to me. So I decided that the only right answer to this weird situation was to uh, try my best to take him out. Um, which I thought was pretty funny. I don't know why they trusted me. So I do my best. I'll let you see the final outcome. Um, but I should have known that a hacker but probably have god mode on, I'll say that, but now that I'm not god mode, okay. so that was kind of cool, so I got a little revenge, and I just thought it was kind of a PS that it's kind of hacking in the game, because you can't prove it until you're actually a part of it, I guess, you can, you know it's accuse somebody of hacking, and they almost always deny it, but to actually be part of the process is pretty funny, you can see how big of an advantage you give you, and how just ridiculous it is. And why we don't need this in a standalone game. And why maybe waiting for a standalone game is worth it. Uh, I'm still gonna play DayZ, but I'm not gonna do this. Uh, when you got this kind of shit going on, this wasn't actually, this is a different server, so uh, that makes it a little bit better. This is a, on a non private server. So people can server hop, people can kind of get away with more stuff. And a private server, if you get caught this, you're just getting banned. That's the end of it. And I like that. Makes it a little bit better. But, um,. It was just also a random server. And I'm just amazed. Everything's in there. And I'm just trying to grab. I, half these guys, I don't think, are even. I think there's only two guys. I don't think they're available in uh, the actual game. I had to play around the AS50. That was kind of cool. Um, not as awesome as I thought it was going to be. It's just, you know, it's a one hit gun. The scope didn't seem super powerful. Didn't seem any better than a CZ, if you ask me. I don't know if 
the scopes are actually that different. It's got different target. Um, but other than that, I didn't think it zoomed in particularly far. So we're all kind of taking it in. The, that's the hacker right there, the, the bandit. I wasn't sure at first. I should have assumed that the bandit would be the hacker, but I wasn't sure. So, but I figured it out later on. Sorry for the South Park in the background. This all happened really quick, so I wasn't sure how to react. If I just, so I didn't really have time to stop it. So yeah, ask a question. I keep asking questions. No response. So I'm sorry to get pissed. Like he doesn't somehow. I'm just so confused and frustrated, and I don't like the situation at all. I don't know if they knew each other and they just met and then like came on this plane. I don't know. Like, they must have. Oh, yeah. And then, so the first two were clearly not as skilled hackers. They were hackers. So we like, this guy is. So I shot him and it's a one hit kill and he did die. And then I don't die. I just go into like a coma state. Weird. So that was odd. And then I just abort. So that's hacking. And that's how freaking powerful it is. You have god mode, you have every gun in the game. You do a lot worse than that too, um, but you could get away with it doing this, more or less. You know, if I ran through.